Welcome to the show. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we analyze the biggest sentiment stories and also have lifestyle conversations. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my interesting co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shunke. Yes, that's Hello. me. What's up? I'm good. Uh, oh. Wait, why the long pause before <laughs> the first one? Is this your bikini? My what? Nothing. How are you? That was a sanitized greeting. I'm actually excited. Why? Because of the story we're about to talk about. Okay, let's do it we then. have progress. Right? Yes, mm. we do. Okay, so um, there is an update on the rape case between Nigerian musician Ola Dapo Daniel Uyebajo, popularly known as the Banj, and Sheito Babalola. His accuser, Sheito, released an official statement yesterday. In her statement, Sheito confirmed that she was unjustly arrested by Nigerian police officers who gained access to her apartment by pretending to be delivery men. Um, she gave the timeline of events that occurred since she came out with her story. She said she was released after signing a gag order by the police and the singer's team. The statement said she formally made a criminal complaint of rape by the band at the gender desk of the Nigeria Police Force Lagos Police Command Headquarters, Ikeja, Lagos, on Monday, the 22nd of June, 2020. She went on to thank well-meaning Nigerians who raised the alarm on social media of her illegal detention and spoke out strongly against the blatant abuse of power. She asked that all inquiry be directed to stand to rape stand to end rape initiative as she said and i quote i therefore ask that you respectfully grant me a few days of personal time to continue to access counseling and therapy sections while my team and i explore our next steps end of quote hmm. 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 why this long pause before? it's a lot i don't it's... know if it's a moment of silence <laughs> but nobody's dead at least. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot um it, this story is exploding you know, by the minute, I'm really crossing my fingers that nothing else happened to this girl's safety. I like that she recounted everything in the press statement. I like that she gave it in full details. The only evidence a person has that has that is claimed to be a victim is their story. And I like that she shared that story in total, in details, everything. Because um, on Twitter, on social media, because we have a trial, uh, a court system on, on social media, it wasn't, it was still, I said, she said, maybe she didn't actually take down the post, maybe she did take down the post. We didn't know. People were just speculating. So now that it's been proven and for sure it is true that this girl actually was, was arrested. Har arrested, was detained, and um, her, for her tweets were deleted, and then somebody else posted those tweets. You can tell that something else is obviously there. Someone is trying to silence her. Why would you want to silence the truth if it's the truth? Um, for somebody like Debanch who claims to be innocent, he's acting very guilty, um, and I'm hoping that you know this this story actually falls through completely because we've seen this with the case of Timmy and his wife and everything. So I'm hoping that justice is really served in this case. I want to start hearing more conversations about the hotel because I feel like that's where the evidence would really lie, how he got access to the keys and things like that. All right, so this is a case of um, a lot of he said, she said and all that, but um, we're in support of Shaitan. We hope the truth comes out soon enough, but I think it's still way too quick to um, judge because we, we're getting different stories from diff from both parties. So, um, But regardless of what it is, it's not right to silence any rape victim and um, if that's what the band is doing. What story did you get from the band? No, they're different. Um, I think um, a lady came out yesterday to post how Frank was the band's manager. And he got fired. He's trying to extort how Frank was in a relationship. But those that's are he said. No, no, no. Debanche. No, I'm just saying those are he said, she said, right? That's why I'm saying that it's too quick. So I don't, I don't want to be in a hurry to jump on this. But I just want to be on the general note that if what the band is doing is trying to silence this lady, then I hope the full route of the law catches up. I think there's a sorry what the. Is doing is absolutely wrong. Um, 
Um, so for a while now, we know she was detained. We know she was arrested. We know she was taken to a place, an unknown location, and people had to start looking for her. All that had come out, but not exactly from her. All she had, she did in this official press um, statement mm. is to actually back up everything that, that we've, heard. we've heard and we've seen online. And some people are saying, what if this is not true? What if it's just noise? And she has actually come out, or she and her, her team has come out to let you know that, yes, this and this happened, and this is what this girl went through. She was in police custody for no reason. For I mean, we even hours. need to start the conversation from understanding why the police would pretend to mm -hmm. be delivery men mm -hmm. to go and pick up this lady. Like a, a lot of a, a lot of people are Scott. culpable right now, and it is really sad. And I hope, like you said, that this is not going to end like a Busola Dakolo's case because mm -hmm. we saw the outcry and the intimidation and all, and we got to court. And what did we get from that? So mm -hmm. I hope that because this case is like we said during Busola's case too. This is now beyond one person. It's not. It's no longer about just she. So yes, she has to bear um, the bigger brunt of this mentally and emotionally and still seeing therapy and all that. But this is now beyond she. So are you saying that if a rapist, now we know that he's not um, confirmed guilty, but if a lady comes out to say somebody raped me and um, it there was no social media or she did not have the means to get online, is this how they are usually silent mm -hmm. using the help of the police force mm -hmm. that are supposed to actually mm -hmm. fight for the rights of the people? Mm -hmm. So um, um, the band, whether he's innocent or guilty, for me, it's not even coming to play right now because he absolutely looks guilty from everything he has done, what he has posted, dancing and telling us somebody is a Lord Majel or something. And we are going to start a trend on his dance very soon. And it's just, it, it's, it's ridiculous because, you know, yesterday we we're talking about how Justin Bieber handled his own case. Regardless, he has not been proven guilty as well, but he gives us a standing mm. to say, you know what, let's wait and hear the full story. Mm. We are watching, we are hearing. But for the band, you try to use your power to silence a poor girl. Mm. So if that is the case, then I'm I, I'm sorry, I can't sit on the fence on this and one. And big shout exactly. out to the women who have um, raised 1.6 million naira for our legal case too. So I think that's very important as well because we need to see how the law plays out on this one. And big shout out to everyone supporting she. And I think I think also I have to mention that a lot of people, a lot of people actually don't want justice for rape victims. And they don't want, they're not interested in finding justice. They rather just believe that their fave didn't rape this person. Or they rather just dismiss the person's voice. A lot mm. of the times when Kemi came out, people read the whole thread. And it was quite a lot of words. When a, a, celebrity, a gossip page on Instagram writes stories and cooks up their own conspiracy theory, people read it and, and, and start commenting. This baby wrote, wrote a statement. And everyone I'm, everywhere I'm seeing is, eh, it's too long, summarize, please. Eh, it's too long, summarize. <laughs> Summarize, please. I took my uh, time to bothered. unfollow everybody that was following on that page that made such the statements. statements. Wow. I took my time to unfollow Yes, them. and then also for you to sit here in this uh, and still say that you are not sure and it's hearsay, uh, I think you're trying really hard not to believe the person who's speaking that truth, as far as I'm concerned. I think right now, after they ha it has been proven that this man couldn't sit still, are you dumb? Like, can you not, can you not tell when somebody is doing something wrong. Have you never, you yourself, have you ever not done something wrong and you don't want it to come out? You make actions. But if you have not done anything wrong, you won't take certain actions. It's not rocket science. An innocent man would not coerce, go out of, out of his way, especially when he knows, he knows he can be incriminated by looking guilty. An innocent person wouldn't want to do that. Look at Justin Bieber. He came out, he has all the power in the world to also go and silence this person. All he did was came out and said, this is my story, this is where I've been. Till tomorrow, the band has not said a story. He has not said, said that this is my story. He just said, ah, God forbid, oh, my son, Kiniko, this and this and that, and then took it down and then danced for you. This person is giving you timelines. And you're still trying and to figure on out how... even on page, on Shaito's <laughs> page, they actually use her page to promote his single. And so, you're still I mean, sitting on the much. fence. You just don't want to believe. There's not... What other story does the girl want to give you? That's all she has, her truth. And you're dismissing that, saying that is, uh, I said she said. It's no longer I heard she said. This is... Obviously, like somebody trying to silence her truth. If that's not paining you, you're on the wrong side of the table, fam. Um, moving on to the next story, while well, we keep an eye on this story to unfold, um, reggae dance hall musician Samini has advised his former signee Stoneboy to make room for settlements in the ongoing feud between himself and Kelvin Boy. Recall that um, in the previous episode, we talked about the fact that Stoneboy's label issued a 
press statement denying allegations that it had a hand in a scuffle that broke between Kelvin Boy and a former bodyguard of Stone Boy. The statement further disclosed that the label um, will take legal action against Kelvin Boy for insinuating Stone Boy was responsible for the incident. But in an Instagram post, Samini has waded in on the issue, calling Stone Boy to cease fire because a son will always be a son. He said, and I quote, let's come together one last time and have a sit down away from social media so you can and amicably cut ties on a good and blessed note, then and only then will we have some peace in this household. End of quote. Mm. Why <laughs> this long pubs <laughs> heavy single time? It doesn't matter that is causing the issue. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, on this one, I mean, we talked about how it's possible to also be um, um, guilty and put out such statements because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's the corporate environment at the end of the day we're not going to get to. And I said that we need to take him for his words or his label for their words. They say they are not involved. Now it's apparent that there's an underlying issue based mm -hmm. on I left your label, whatever, whatever they're dragging. And um, I, I think I like what Samin is doing because he's been the other one now to actually mm. Call them to say let's settle this amicably because I don't think this is getting them anywhere. And for some funny reason, I don't know why Stone Boy is in the news every blessed day, every blessed day since he has this new project he's pushing. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what's going on, but I think they it's need to. Stone. It could be. Um, I, I, I feel I feel it could be. I don't. I, of course, I don't know for a certain that it is. But if it is not, then whatever it is they're fighting over needs to be sorted, and they need to, of course, listen to someone like Samini who is speaking from experience as well. Okay, that was an interesting theory and it's very possible. The theories I had were two things, either that um, Stoneboy is actually lying and that he did, um, he is in the source of people who gave that guy problems or Stoneboy is actually really paranoid. Sometimes if you have an enemy um, and the person has to act, so, like we had, okay, this is not inside joke. Yesterday we had a situation with us as a team and you realize that there's some things that even if you didn't mean to looks like you are actually trying to like send a message but you're not um and it could be that maybe there's just a lot of things that has happened between him and strong boy that makes him consider the fact that he could be the person you know behind the attack that the attack that he had and it, it could go either ways it could be that he was paranoid and he got that wrong or that he was right and this person is mm. just um, pulling powers but like you said having somebody a third party, even in love matters, having that third party sometimes really helps to be able to speak to each other and hear each other clearly. So I'm hoping that Tamini can Do that achieve that. Them. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, it's the big brother role that he's playing right now. And I think um, there's actually no love in war. So let's just make peace and let everybody be happy because at the end of the day, you have to consider the fact that Stone Boy has also helped this guy in the past. Mm -hmm. So you can't go back and start biting the finger that fed like you and said. start writing yeah. so many funny things. And the the bouncer, Bosu Kelly, I like they call him, mm -hmm. is um, no longer in the employment of um, Stone Boy. So he, pro he probably did this on his own. And then mm -hmm. I saw an interview where he said um, the reason why he attacked um, Kelvin was because um, he said he was never going to perform in Ashaman, which is where Stone Boy is from. And then he saw him there. And it was just an opening for an electronic store. So what's your business? It's not your place. You don't own that city. So mm. why are you taking it all personal? If that's really the reason why is you attack fun? the guy. So <laughs> it's not... Oh, yeah. Do you understand? Oh, yeah, like, you don't own it. Maybe he will get his it's... job back, you know. <laughs> so so what's your, If what's... he had succeeded in beating him up, he's calling him our yeah. boss, I beat that guy for you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, maybe he wants to get his job back, whatever it is but i the way he's talking about it like i uh, even if he comes a military man and policeman is still gonna slap it so so people feel like they are above the law so mm. i think that guy needs to be checked and people that act ba in barbaric manners need to be checked i like that you brought the parts that he talked about um biting the fingers that fed you and there's something mm. samini said that i really want to highlight the way he put it he said even if the finger that has fed you is trying to choke you mm. you just rather find a way to Move swallow yourself, it. not swallow it, like move yourself away <laughs> from that situation and do everything possible not to still bite the finger mm. that has fed you. Yeah, and I, I think that's, that. I think that's a deep, a deep logic. No, it, I don't think people I'll might not agree. Not to bite it. I think I'll just swallow it instead. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> All right, tea time continues right after this break.
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is DLT Time on Plus TV Africa. So Peter Okoye is or was very angry. So he shared a collage photo of himself and Osha Raymond talking about their resemblance and how the matter should be settled, but his father is late. An Instagram user dropped a comment calling him the broke version of Osha, and Peter replied saying, quote, Nigerian mentality, only if you know. But he did not stop there. He slid into the user's DM to express himself better. And now in a viral screenshot, his message read, go and settle your miserable broke life before talking to people that can feed your generation. Mind your business or get blocked. Blocking you out of 9.1 million, basically he's talking about his followers, you won't be missed at all. Warning, end of quote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't go. They paint him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, but... I didn't see the need for him to respond to that. No, he could have responded, but I didn't see the need of entering the DM. You mm. get Like, you could have just ended it with the reference to the comment, right? Don't or forget, sorry, he actually posted again on his story, I think, yeah, to like still talk about the issue. Yeah, like, you the mm -hmm. and blah, blah, blah. Like, come on. Maybe, just maybe you feel that way about yeah. yourself. It, it's a mm. sign of insecurity, if you ask me. Because if you don't feel like, ah, I look like Osha, but this guy fresh past me, I think that's the mentality mm. he also has about himself for him to actually say that because it was totally unnecessary for him to slide into the DM and then even go further by posting it on his story as well. So, um, But some trolls do need to calm down though. But you should know that it comes with a um, celebrity lifestyle. It comes with the stardom. It comes with the fame. It comes with all, all of that comes with it. People will troll you. People will say negative things about you. And when you do good, people will also praise you. So you need to get ready for all those things. So, mm. And by now, I, one would think that Peter, who has been relevant <laughs> for more than 10 years, would have developed a, a mm. thick skin. It, it got him on the bad side, on yeah. a bad day. I think some people genuinely mm. just have days where they're like, I don't want to be mature, I don't want to be the bigger person. And I just have to respond. We all but have I have to that, like agree that. that the way in which he responded was reeking with them insecurities, mm. um, which is interesting because... If you're taking, if you're talking about it for the net worth that like you mm -hmm. mentioned behind the scene, um, it's I think it's only one hundred and eighty million dollars. Yes, that's what Sharon wants. But Peter and Paul together are one hundred fifty million dollars. Wow, fam. So that's let's say seventy five. That is a lot. And, he's and, to say, and these are figures that we can't verify anyway. Mm, and it's from actually, actually Nigeria. Yeah. We cannot verify. And no, I think I think the net worth is basically is not the money you have in your bank no, account. It's, it's about if, uh, assets. Net worth of Nigerians on social media cannot be verified. Um, I'm saying we, that for a fact. I'm not. No, I'm, I'm not telling you what we, I we, want feel, to feel, do. Feel, 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 should feel, I tell feel, you why? I have to put myself on the table. If you search for my net worth on social media, you'll be seeing one million dollars. Yeah, what's one million dollars? Remy. So I'm telling you that eh? it is not true. No, maybe it's true. Maybe I just hear the signals. If I focus. <laughs> maybe, just maybe. Focus. So networks in Nigeria and yesterday. what they put on social media is absolutely... Yeah, how they put that English. I want to speak that. Ban for the twins is a lot of money and it's very hard to... 
But then again, we cannot underestimate that those are big guns. Yeah, they used, it's I possible. Mean, they used to be and stuff. But um, he shouldn't take this really personal because I remember maybe, I think he could have handled this in a better way by kind of sharing his story because there, from from way back, we've always said that um, hmm. Peter had a resemblance with Osha Raymond yeah. and also the way... I didn't see way, that until he posted this. Well, really? and also the way he used to dance and yes, all. No. So d d d this comparison is not coming out the first time, which is why he said we need to settle it once and for all. Like, he's been on. But I think he could have just come out to talk about how his story, he has grown from um, grass to grace and has been able to acquire so much for himself. And right now, yes, you can place him side by side with Osha Raymond because at the end of the day, he is a successful Very Nigerian successful, artist yeah. and Osha Raymond is also and a successful think, artist. And even if you put it into context, you know, is, is... But what I, where I was actually okay. driving at is that me, sometime in my life, that time that we used to compare them, I have said that he was the broke, I mean, the broke version of Usher, but right now that is not the story for him, so he could have played also, that better. I also, think. also Nigerians need to sorry, go ahead. If you put it in context, I think that P Square does better for himself in the in his Peter, Peter, sorry, Peter does better for himself in his country than Usher does for himself in America. I think Peter is a bigger gun in Nigeria than Usher is in America. The Usher is like very throwback and very like, yeah. They you know. have different careers. Mm. Usher came into if the that's the case, then Peter is yeah. So what, are, what about Jay-Z, please? Don't what? give excuses for, for time. No, Usher is a child star. Usher, Usher is a child star. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you would like that statement. My guy is still hosting. He wants to stay relevant. He's just not doing a very good no, job. No, he started that. as a child. He started when he was 14. How is that an excuse for stay, not staying relevant? It's still relevant. People are child stars. He had the climax but challenge as, recently. So oh, you that, can't say Osho oh, isn't relevant. No. As, a lot of as people who are not in Nigeria. Agree with you. Uh, 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 this 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 square is still is not that very not relevant. That relevant they're trying anymore. to. Since they split. You see it, now, mm, it's, see, it's, you are the one that brought relevance to this conversation. Don't do her. You will finish what you started. It's relative, right? You understand? Who is relevant to you may not be relevant to me. Maybe because right. I listen to Usher, I know that he's still quite relevant. And I think some people Paul still actually has... To Square, if you're looking at them individually now, Paul mm. and Peter... Now I confuse them, Who's but Peter? if I'm not Peter mistaken, it, like, Paul um, has more... Peter is the one with the local. Paul is the mm -hmm. one I'm with the I'm talking about their music now. Yeah. Um, who has the song that has the two dwarfs in the video or no? Is it Paul or Peter? That's it's Paul, Paul now. Yeah. So I'm saying in terms of music that they've churned out during their separate career um, movement, I think Paul has actually even done better than Peter. But please don't well, come Peter for me. Peter is not bad as well. Peter too so basically, with, um, both of them are successful. Okay, I think he could have handled it better. He mm. can be very relative. Mm. Osha, I see my guy is my crush from childhood, so don't try it, you mm. know. And that's our wrap up. <laughs> this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and send your opinions via WhatsApp to 09065719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Also, my thank you will go to my amazing co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olua Oshunke and the yeah, entire production me. team. Also, watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.